sometimes silence and ignoring a problem isn't the only option. It, it's, it's a correct option often. Look, it, it truly is. Because you, you, what Freddie's saying there is you don't stoop to that level. Lions laying down with sheep. You don't bring yourself down. You don't dignify Kelvin Benjamin by putting yourself on his level. And I get that. And I find it persuasive even. But I also dig just face-to-face, mano-a-mano with your, confronta- with your issue. I just dig it, man. Here it is. I'm right here. You know? You said stuff through the pre- press. I'm right here. Don't you, can't you be mad enough? Say it. I guess I live in a world full of backtalkers. I live in a world full of critics from far away. I hear what other people say that don't have the balls to say it to me. I never would begrudge somebody, even if I were Kelvin. If I were on that side of the equation, I would appreciate it even then. Appreciate what Cam did. I don't know. I just dig it. What's up, Steve? You're on the Will Kane show. Hey, what's up, Will? How's it going? Good. Um, all right. So I, I completely agree with you. I think Cam handled it perfectly. Hands behind the back. He went, said what he had to say, <laughs> and now it's done. Just it's over. But my question is, you said what other quarterbacks would you put on the list? Had this been another quarterback, would you have put? Cam on your list because I find this kind of unexpected from what I know about Cam. Well, that's kind of interesting. What do you mean what you know of Cam? You think he's pretty much non-confrontational? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, your other guests before um, said that he was kind of like cold in the locker room, that type of thing. I always got that he kind of had that like trying to please everybody personality. Um, So I just this kind of came out of left field for me. Yeah, I appreciate the call, Steve. That was Jeff Darlington, ESPN NFL reporter, who was on a, the Will Kane Show in Hour 1. You can get that on our podcast on Apple, iTunes, or on the ESPN app. He gave us some good insight into who Cam is in the locker room. And then we did start talking about what other quarterbacks in the NFL, can you imagine, would have done this, would have confronted somebody who was talking trash about them. And I asked, hey, by the way, is Drew Brees one of these guys? Because I think of Drew Brees as pretty fiery, more fiery than you think of. But... Jeff told us Drew Brees is too polished, too concerned with his public image. Drew Brees is very aware of all the eyes on him. So, how about this, Sarudi? Let's see if we can go through a few. You think Aaron Rodgers would have done this? I mean, Aaron Rodgers certainly is the lion with a lot of sheep he doesn't need to lie down with. But I see Aaron Rodgers as pretty uh, testy, pretty confrontational. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know if he'd get in somebody's face. Base. He would definitely do something like he wouldn't let it go without making some sort of statement, gesture, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if he would just confront someone at a game, though. Now, who would? Andy Dalton? Red Rifle? No, not Andy Dalton. <laughs> At least, I don't know, unless, he, unless he's new, improved Andy Dalton. I don't know. Uh, you mentioned this earlier. Philip Rivers is the guy to me that would, and I would love it, would get in somebody's face, and he'd probably go even further than Cam did. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, there'd be some finger Rivers. pointing, fingers in your face. Like there would be some some expletives. Like he would, I, and I and I like again, I would love that. And I think Jeff Darlington was right when he told us in a year or two it would be Baker Mayfield as well. Yeah, you so can he's totally see Baker doing this. Said Jay Cutler couldn't um, summon up enough cares to walk across the field. Yeah, he would just rip a cigarette on the sideline. <laughs> uh, Matt Stafford seems pretty fiery. Yep, seems I can like see he that. could get. Yeah, I don't know if he's, you know, too corporate or not. I could see Stafford going that way. I don't think, despite how kind of gruff and big he is, I don't see Ben Roethlisberger as confrontational. Like, I don't see him, I could be wrong, as face-to-face, let's have this out kind of guy. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think he would, like, talk in the media about it, but I don't think he would ever confront somebody to their face. And Dak is do the right thing no way. guy. No so, way. He's a company yeah, man. He wouldn't do it. Never. Yeah, he's got that image to take care of. I don't really like how you said that. That didn't sound like all a compliment. <laughs> what about, I'm trying to think, Blake Bortles? Because I remember last year, Blake Bortles, like everyone was knocking Blake Bortles and telling him how much he sucked. And then he, I mean, he said something in the media about it, basically be like, why do these guys keep talking about me? I, my place speaks for itself. He didn't necessarily get in someone's face, but he at least addressed it. 
Well, there was that dude that stole his truck from a party and Blake tackled him. Remember that story? Yeah, respected the heck out of it. Yeah, and then he, he, he didn't just tackle him, right? He, like, did a citizen's arrest on the guy. Made him sit down in the corner during the party until the cops arrived. I got a good one. Maybe Blake. Maybe Blake's about that life. One more. What's did you, up? Did you say, how about Josh Rosen? No. Yes. No. Yes. You're a yes on Josh yes. Rosen? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. No. I'm not a yes on that. Josh Rosen might take you aside and tell you why, you know, modern capitalism, the problems <laughs> with overinvestment in, in, you know, finance, but he's not going to really say, hey, what's up, man? Quit talking S about me. Oh, I disagree. I think he did he's both gonna, of those things. He probably has some hot takes on toxic masculinity, but I don't think he's ready to exhibit it. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I think you're wrong. I think he's he's got the confidence. To, I, I think if you start talking, if, if, if you and the media talk smack about him, he's going to let you know about it. He's not the one who's going to passively sit back and act like he doesn't care. All right. Well, we'll see Josh Rosen this weekend in his first NFL debut, see if he's about that life.